I'm going to really focus on um, telling my story to others, to help them out, uh, to let them see that, you know, just because, you know, you got a full-time job, you got kids, there's still time. There's always time to train. wasn't a habit to go to the gym every single day or five days a week and give it my all. So it was one of those things where, Becky, just do it. Just get in there and do it. Don't care about anybody else. This is for you. The inspiration that I, that I get every single day from Jim Army members, whether it's online or meeting them uh, in person, is 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 just it's in it's just indescribable. It was always about servicing the reader, giving them the information that they're hungry for, and you know I never stopped. Uh, the hunger to not only learn, but then to share it with as many people uh, that would listen in, in the magazine, online, uh, through social media, uh, just one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, but to now see, you know, the Jim Army taking those philosophies and that same responsibility that I have to service and people like Joe Weider had to service people. To see that continue and to spread all over the world is really impossible to put into words, but it is just absolutely awesome. Not a single day goes by that I'm not reminded by Jim Army members about the impact that I've had on their lives. But the best part of all is little do they realize that it's the impact that they have on my life and the impact that they have on everyone else in, in their lives that uh, really matters the most to me because that's how we spread the word of, of fitness. You know, that's, we know being fit and, and living that fitness lifestyle is a better way of just being and to see that message uh, just spread one by one, uh, like I said, simply awesome. My name is Nicole Waldrop. I'm from Houston, Texas. I'm Matt Waldrop. I'm from Houston, Texas. Hi, I'm Debbie Stevens. I'm from Stevensville, Montana. Hi, I'm Benoit Tabaki. Hey guys, it's Will Kasherik. My name is Travis Oxenrider. Justin Cam. Great weekend, it's fun. But I just don't want to leave people who watch that video with like, oh wow, that was really cool to see somebody else do that. I really want to create something to say, how did they do that? We had started doing gym programs when we started going back to the gym because um, my husband was really big on you know doing a program and I was more about just freestyling it. I just wanted to go in and just do whatever I wanted. Um, and it was really when I started like committing to a program that I really started seeing a difference. Just I started feeling better and just so much more confident and it really helped me work through a lot of um, kind of a lot of the stuff I was dealing with and it's it's been very therapeutic and really kind of got me back on track and seeing kind of being more proactive and going after the things I wanted in life again. I think we kind of see it as uh, something we have to do for our kids and you know kind of set the standard. I know for me I have a daughter and if it was a boy I'd probably be like well you know he's fine but with a daughter you have to represent the man that you want her to marry. And so I think going to the gym and having an aesthetic look and being strong, uh, you can't tell her to marry someone like that unless you're that person. Um, and so I know it's important to her mother, um, and it's important to me too. That, that's definitely what flipped the switch, was when she was born about six months later, it kind of dawned on me like, I gotta be someone better. 
the, the thing that changed my life style the more about your philosophy is uh, the wage war against inactivity because the, I try to apply that like in my daily life to do the, the dishes like in several times so you space it during the day so instead of doing all at once in one hour you have like 15 minutes of, of activity during your day and even at, at work with my colleague we started to do push-ups, squats like every hour in, in the office. The big impact in my fitness journey was to keep me motivated because it's always been a struggle to me to stay on track for a long period of time. I would say like following a program over six weeks it's not that hard but it's to stay on track for, for the, the whole year. And, uh, uh, Every time I'm not feeling training, I'm a bit down, I, I know if I take some of, of my friends like, like Kevin, Justin the, and pop me up for the, for the training and, uh, and keep on doing what we need to do. My oldest son was leaving for the service and uh, I was approaching 50 rapidly and very, um, I was having a hard time with it. And so my son said, come to the gym with me, mom. And I said, no way, are you kidding me? I'm like, oh, did you? And he said, no, he said, you know, it might, it might, it, it might help you. You know, this, and he basically said, mom, this is your time. This is your time to write a new chapter in your life. And it wasn't until I started developing friendships with people in Army and uh, learning from many people, um, form and diet and, and Jim Stepani himself, the doctor has been amazing. Um, and who knew at my age you could develop muscle? I mean, I just fell in love with Barbell. It's been an amazing journey. It's been over a year. Um, it's um, been life-changing, really. A morbidly obese person for a better part of my life. Pushing 400 pounds at one point, I was around 370, probably more. I was too afraid to weigh myself, I was too ashamed. Um, couldn't walk upstairs without being winded. Stopping halfway up, gasping for air. I was on a ton of uh, medicines for health reasons, and it got so bad that it came to a point where I knew I was either gonna die, or I had to do something to turn it around. And I knew what it felt like to quit, I had quit and been lazy and taken the easy way out my whole life. So for once, I wanted to know what it felt like to not give up. Then go into the gym and start doing Tabatas and gyms workouts and crushing it from day one, no. I started with cutting out sodas, cutting out junk food, cutting out fast food, taking a walk down the block, but I couldn't get down the block. I would walk a quarter of the block, have to take five minutes, turn back around and get home and then be on the couch in pain for hours before I could go do it all again. And every time I would eat a little bit, I'd go out and I'd walk again and I'd walk just a little bit further that next time. Just pushing myself a little bit more each time until I started seeing the weight coming off. And then I watched my doctor pull me off the meds one by one saying, you're doing something right, keep doing it. Found an article on bodybone.com from Jim about Chork at the Shred. And I was like, this might be something that I want to try. So I started on Chork at the Shred and I started loving the program, but at that point in time, I was taking other types of pre-workouts and stuff, and, and that's right when you guys had launched pre-gym, so I went and I ordered it, and when I got it, it's funny enough that I look inside, and I'm like, look at this damn scooper, it's so big, and um, I looked at like the serving, I was like, you know, this is right, there's not like a misprint, I didn't get the wrong size uh, scooper. And uh, I was like, well, I guess it's you know meant to be. So I took a scoop, and from there on, it was I was sold. You know, that, done deal. So I've been there ever since then, and I saw every product release was there. Got it the first day it came out. And, um, I started seeing on Twitter that people would ask Jim questions and stuff, and just from me wanting to learn as much as I wanted to from him. I already knew some of the answers to the people's questions, so I wanted to try to pay that forward and try to help out. So that's when I started answering questions on, on Twitter, and that's when Jim and I started to connect a little bit more, and he started recognizing me, and that's how I met Justin and Cam, and I started developing close friendships with people over the course of just the years of kind of helping out, and then the Jim Army page launched, and 
I got booted up to, to admin to help out some more with, with the things that I've already been doing and, and now it's we're here, this is where we're at now. Many years ago, I uh, decided to start losing some weight with uh, my mother-in-law. She was inspiring me because she was running marathons. She had lost over 60 pounds and I was like, wow, you know, this lady's almost 50 years old. If she can do it, I can do it. Started losing weight, got into Mike Rashid and uh, C.T. Fletcher, all them guys. And I, you know, I lost a decent amount of weight running and getting into that. And then she says, you know, you gotta go to the gym with me. And I said, I'm not going to the gym. You know, people are gonna laugh at me. And that's, you know, I was bullied a lot when I was a kid. You know, I was very poor. We didn't have clean clothes. We used to wash our clothes in the sink. My house was just riddled with physical and mental abuse. And it was just, so going to the gym with me was like, no, people are gonna laugh at me. They're gonna say, I smell, whatever, they're gonna be funny. She said, you gotta go to the gym with me one time. She went to the gym together and forget it. Like I was in there, I felt like a monster. And then a friend of mine who uh, he was actually sponsored by BSN came up to me. I went to school with him. He said, hey man, I'm willing to show you a couple of things, help you lose some weight, whatever. Um, and I said, yeah, that'd be great. You know, he just offered for free. So we started, you know, doing our thing. He was teaching me how to bench, how to squat, all that stuff. And I said, you know what, it's, it's working, but it's, it's not working the way I think it should be. I need some structure. And I came across Jim. I came across Jim and I found his uh, gymsapine.com and I was looking through just for something crazy intense. I know everyone starts with body, beginner to advance, shortcut to stretch. I, I looked at hit 100 and I said, this is where I'm gonna start, right here. So I started with hit 100. First gym product I ever grabbed was pre-gym. Why? Jim's tattooed, I'm tattooed. I was like, this is a cool guy. I'm gonna get on the internet on that gymsapine.com website and just study this thing up and down all around. Whatever I need to know. To, to help other people. That's all I want to do. Gyms helped me. I'm four or five programs in at this point. You know, I've lost all this weight. I'm going to help other people. And so I started answering people on Twitter, Facebook, whatever. Jim, you know, reached out to me and said, you know what, man, I can't thank you enough. I'd really like to uh, have my business partner call you and talk to you about coming out to the Olympia five years ago. This is five years ago. And I said, okay, I mean, that's amazing. You know, I started crying in my kitchen because it's, it's pretty amazing. You know, people don't do stuff like that, especially for people like me. 